In this quick tip tutorial we're going to talk about uh, making digital anachronisms. Anachronism is placing uh, an object from the now in a picture from years and years ago. So for instance uh, editing an iPad uh, in an image of uh, Johannes Vermeer in his, his painting, um, that's a digital anachronism. A really nice way to uh, to get uh, some some lovely pictures is going to the uh, Rijksmuseum.nl. Um, that's our famous uh, museum in Amsterdam, and they are giving away uh, more than 600,000 pieces of art, royalty free, which you can download on really high quality, and that can uh, uh, yeah, that can help you making great pictures in uh, side of Photoshop. So let's go to Photoshop, where I've downloaded uh, uh, this image uh, from uh, Hendrik Voogd, uh, somewhere around 1807. This picture has been uh, been made, this painting, and I want to add in the space rocket which has launched last week from Tesla. And uh, yeah, I want to uh, make sure that this uh, this rocket will appear in the background of this image uh, somewhere over here, if that makes sense. In order to do that in a non-destructive way, because that's what this uh, quick tip is actually about, is working with masks and of course ways to select your uh, your uh, background in this case. I want to make a selection of the clouds in the back end. Um, so I'm going to go for the quick selection tool. And uh, with the recent uh, update, uh, Adobe is giving you some uh, free little tutorials uh, about every single tool in Photoshop. Um, so that helps you understand what they do. And in this case, I would like to use the quick selection. And I'm just going to drag across the sky in order to make a nice selection. And we can see these uh, these marching ends around the selection. And um, I want to locate my rocket over here. So this selection until this area is perfect for me. So I want to use this as a selection. I want to get rid of it, but not for real. I want to... Um, bring back my happy mistakes uh, when I make them. So I want not to uh, erase stuff, I just want to hide stuff with my masking options. So in order to uh, uh, to work really non-destructive, I'm gonna uh, copy the background image onto a new layer. So I'm just dragging my layer onto the new item and that will give me a copy. And in this copy, I can make sure that I've got a mask selected. So I'm using the add layer mask options over here. And that will give me this result. You let me hide the background to see what's happening. And um, this is the selection at the moment. Uh, but is the other way around actually what I would like? I want to uh, uh, have the trees and leave the, the clouds. So in order to do that, I can select my layer mask over here. And with my layer mask selected, the properties are over here, can be found over here. And I can invert my mask with this option. And it basically swaps black and white over here. And now I can see that uh, the clouds are uh, transparent. So let me bring back my background again, so nothing has happened. But this gives me a nice layer to put my rocket into. Okay, let's go to the rocket and do basically the same trick um, with the quick selection. I'm going to select the blue sky. Perfect. I'm going to mask it out. There we go. Again, it's the other way around. Um, and I've missed out a bunch of clouds over here. So let me go back one step with Command Z. And let's Alt and click and drag on the clouds over here. To make that part of the selection again. There we go. And the top of the rocket. That's the same thing. Ah, this is perfect. So let's make the mask again. There we go. And of course invert it one more time. And now I can easily drag and drop my layer onto my background. There we go. Um, so I'm just dragging and holding my layer from the other file, the digital imaging 2.jpg file, um, this one, and I'm bringing it into my painting. There we go. Um, of course, it's a little bit small. Um, I want to scale it upwards uh, to make it bigger, um, and I want to have it living in between of these two layers. There we go. And of course, I can move it around a bit more. And you can see that it does the, the trick, the mask is working perfectly. So just scale it upwards. I go into edit 
and then the free transform tool or, or the command T let's scale it a little bit bigger and let's see how it works that more there you go and now it's even behind the hills over there so that's perfect so I've got my rocket nicely placed in my image there we go um, the cool thing is that when I want to uh, um, alter the mask a bit more I can always go into the mask and play around with the settings over there because um, I think I've missed out a few branches um, so when I go into my mask I've got my layer mask selected I can easily grab my paintbrush and I can only paint with black and white so when I paint with white I can add a bit more in there when I paint with black I can erase a bit more from the mask so I'm never getting rid of the pixels I'm just hiding them a bit um, and that works uh, brilliantly so let's swap the colors around and a nice shortcut is the X on your keyboard uh, the X will uh, yeah, swap the black and white easily so you can continue on brushing uh, in this case on the branches the leaves of the tree something like this and we can continue on making uh, adjustments if you want to um, so that's a nice thing of working with layer masks um, again I can do the same thing because this is a Tesla rocket um, and maybe I would like to have a Tesla car over here in the painting because those people are painting in that direction um, so let's put in a Tesla car and this one is already uh, imported uh, and this one is already opened so uh, I want to uh, use this car um, and of course I can use the quick selection tool again to make a quick selection of the car um, but it's not that uh, that quick actually because uh, it's got some issues with the shadow below so it's selecting uh, way too much and uh, yeah it's a little bit uh, more work with the quick selection tool to make that happen there are tons of ways of uh, making a selection in Photoshop uh, but with the latest release um, this option appeared the select subject and this is really mind-blowing because when I select my subject it knows due some uh, some algorithms what I want to uh, select in the image in this case it's a car uh, when I've got an image of uh, some some people um, it will select the people in the image and it does a really outstanding job um, and gives me a really nice uh, selection already of course it made some mistakes uh, but not too much we can handle those um, so I can easily turn it into a layer mask but in this case my background is still locked so I can't do that let's unlock the layer add a little layer mask there we go and I can bring it to my image again by dragging and dropping the layer there we go and I can place it inside of my painting somewhere over here and maybe I would like to have it a little bit behind the tree so it's in the picture itself so let's zoom in a bit more to the picture let's alter the mask in this case to get rid of these light colors underneath the car so let's paint in the mask wrong color X on the keyboard I'm using the uh, the brackets to make a smaller brush and I'm not painting uh, I'm not erasing the pixels I'm just hiding them again with the masking option and of course I can add in as much detail as I'd like but for now this is uh, okay command 0 and command T to make it smaller again I think this will be a nice scale um, probably a tad smaller okay there we go and I'm gonna hide it behind the trees so what I can do is cut out the tree and um, move it to the front or I can alter the mask of the car um, so let's put it over here and when I go into the mask and start painting again I can uh, show the tree a bit more I'm 
painting carefully. But I can always go back and, uh, and alter my mistakes. My happy accidents. With the right bracket, I'm going to make it a bit bigger the brush. And now it's living behind the tree. X again, a bit smaller with the brackets. Okay, there we go. Oh, this uh, this picture is a little bit uh, more yellowish. Uh, the car is uh, really bright white, um, so I can also go into my uh, my mask, um, into my layer, and go to adjustments and uh, maybe hue and saturation, and just uh, dial out a bit of the saturation. Shift the hue a bit more. To make it a little bit more yellowish. And with you, you can shift the colors to another color. Something like this. And of course, to make it uh, a painting, we can add some uh, filter uh, effects as well. So I'll go into the filter gallery, which will give me some options in the artistic folder. Uh, and I've chosen for a, a dry brush. Okay. And now it's a little bit more uh, a painting-like uh, texture on it. And of course, I can do the same things with my my rocket or whatever I'd like to uh, uh, to import in my image. In my final uh, image, I've made something like this. I've added the, the rocket center over here as well behind the trees. Um, so this is my uh, my final image. Uh, something uh, Hendrik Vogt in 1807 never would have expected to, to happen. Uh, but yeah, with Photoshop and masking you can do this easily. So I'm really curious to find out what you can do with all these lovely images from the Rijksmuseum.nl and uh, yeah, alter something and add something to it um, from this day and age. Have fun with Photoshop and see you again in another quick tip.